My name is Lori Nix. I live in uh, Brooklyn, New York, and I create, I build dioramas in my apartment and then photograph the results. It's a long process. These things take about seven months up to uh, onwards to 15 months to build. They're made out of uh, basic materials, uh, extruded foam. It's pink and blue and purple foam that you can buy at your local hardware store such as Home Depot or Lowe's. What inspires me actually started off in my childhood. I'm a product of the 1970s. So I grew up watching disaster flicks such as uh, Towering Inferno, Planet of the Apes, Logan's Run, and all of these had a very dysto uh, dystopian view of the world. And I've been fascinated by what the world is going to look like once man exits, but you know, there's still evidence that we're around. Our architecture is left, our institutions, um, places of commerce. So that's kind of the re uh, ideas behind this particular body of work. It's called uh, The City to Do. I get most of my ideas just from living in New York City. In fact, I get my ideas on my morning commute on the subway to and from Brooklyn to Manhattan. And in fact, I usually get them when I'm crossing over the, the uh, Manhattan Bridge. <laughs> and that's where my ideas really start going. So I start typing my ideas down on my, uh, on my Blackberry just so I can remember them. So on my Blackberry, I have a long list of potential scenes and some of the ideas that I'm thinking about. Um, uh, one of the first scenes I did was a natural history museum. It was, a, it was kind of an interesting approach because it was a diorama of a diorama of a museum. So I thought that was a little bit fun to, to work that way. I've also done a museum of art. So it was something kind of like the Met where the paintings are still on the walls, but animals and insects had started taking back over the space. So it became a, 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 a place for um, bees to thrive. So in this museum of art, you see a large beehives and then honey dripping down the walls. And I thought that was kind of a, a nice way to think about art. <laughs> Sweet yet um, sticky. Now I specifically call this one beauty shop instead of hair salon because to me in New York, this is since it's a, it's a city, places are called hair salons. But that's not the kind of place that I grew up. I went to a beauty shop as a child. So this is more of a, a, a the look of the beauty shop of my childhood in Norton, Kansas. Very small town, couple of chairs. Um, I used to like getting my hair cut back then. And um, I just wanted to have a small town feel, kind of a shout out to my childhood and to the, the people who helped form this view that I have of um, dystopian future. But I build so, these specifically for one point of view, and that's the camera's point of view, which I think is going to be the viewer's point of view, because I would like the viewer to place themselves in these scenes. And then once I'm done photographing them, I'm happy with the print, I tear them apart. Some of it gets thrown away, so it just gets recycled in my studio into another scene, but these don't exist after the photograph is made because for me the photograph is the final is the final object.